Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaikum salam Sayyidi, can shaitan come in your dream as an awliya? Uh, that's not an easy answer. One is who's awliya? And two, it's uh, he cannot imitate Sayyidina Muhammad Anyone else he can make variations and manipulations. So we don't rely on the dream world because of its faulty nature. So somebody may say, I had a dream of the shaykh, a shaykh, he came, he showed me this, I did this, I was granted this. But they don't tell you that the shaykh is a mirror. And if the shaykh came in an imperfected vision, we saw the shaykh young, you saw the shaykh without a beard, you saw the shaykh without a turban, that's a shaykh coming like a mirror showing that you have an imperfection within you. That's why he's not in his perfected Muhammadan appearance. So the dreams are, are very difficult to just give generic answers and that's why then Naqshbandiya moves away from it. That don't rely on that, don't go to websites that only want to hear all the dreams and, and confuse you about dreams and then encourages you to seek out dreams. And before you know it you like a soapbox, you'll be lying down at night with the hundred waswases around your head because they figured out that's what you like, they will be around you all the time whispering. And that attack can become very difficult and, and mentally disturbing so you want to give the impression to shaitan and his, his dominion and his minions <laughs> that uh, I'm not interested in hearing anything from anyone, I just want to connect my heart with my shaykhs which is under a, an encrypted file and that's all that's interesting to me. Otherwise all night long and this is also in, in other things, you know if you sit and meditate and, and say that, okay I just want to connect with spirits, you'll have like a million dead people coming to your home because you know there are dead who are roaming. And they have nowhere to go and this is a part of their azab, they didn't belong to anything, they really didn't believe in, in much, they didn't do anything bad for Allah to keep punishing them. So one of their punishments is they roam the earth. So if you keep just trying to you know speak with spirits you'll have uh, literally a thousand dead people trying to communicate with you and trying to get some sort of relief from the world communicate about their problems, their talking, what, what's their condition of their home, their, the people they love. So this is a dangerous world to, to be involved with, same with the dreaming. It's best to learn the system of connecting and how to connect. So shaitan can impersonate everything and it can be the misunderstanding of, of, of who we are seeing in a state of imperfection or perfection inshaAllah. Uh, As Salaamu Sayyidi Wa Alaikum Salaam Wa Alaikum What is the reality and the truth of Isa Salam and the crucifixion? The reality of Sayyidina Isa Salam is that he is related to Prophet that he is coming in the last days to show that he's from Ummatul Muhammad and that his station is in Rosa Sharif. There's a, a grave saved in the Holy Rosa in Medina to Munawwara for the presence of Sayyidina Isa That should show the nation how important Sayyidina Isa is to Sayyidina Muhammad And that the cross is a false symbol, has no power and it's from Dajjal. And the Vertical line and horizontal line are important in our spirituality. The horizontal line is a line that if you connect, this is your vertical axis, your head to your feet. Head to feet is your, your vertical. This is your spine and the energy that Allah 
is continuously sending upon us to make us upright servants. This is the miracle Allah gives to our power that these two feet should be wobbling and falling over. How they don't fall over? Like a gyro, the, Allah gave an, a, a power in which you walk on this earth, the earth will hold you. So then the horizontal line has to be at the feet of the servant. This is their dunya. So Prophet of Allah can never over be overtaken by dunya. That would say that his dunya desires they went to his heart and as a result he was crucified by dunya. And that would never be the situation for Prophet of Allah and even the symbol of it is incorrect because you're insulting the Prophet that you were taken by dunya and crucified by dunya. And that was a… because Allah writes the program, whatever a tyrant does and crucifies people it has to be written by Allah. Nobody can kill anybody that not written by Allah, nobody can save anybody that wasn't written by Allah. So Allah wouldn't write haram against His own Prophet. So if anybody has a aql they would understand the one whom writes everything. He doesn't write something completely forbidden against his called to servants, the servants that were called to represent his reality. So that this line would never be upon their heart but it would be always at their feet. And Sayyidina was very hard, very difficult. He was extreme against, against dunya, didn't allow fragrance because he didn't want the remembrance of the world. He preferred the smell of death and would often take his disciples out into the field and said, let us sit and find a carcass. And then the smell of the carcass is what should be the fragrance that you keep with you to remind yourself that death is ever present. So Sayyidina Isa was not somebody that was interested in dunya and all that we see on this world now is the false messiah and false teachings, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam wa Time seems to have speeded up in our world that is based on time. Does age have to do, do it as years pass or has it actually gone faster? Time is time. Your perception of time is speeding up because <coughs> the, the, the days are under difficulties Time is, is, is uh, time, means that the, the, the sun and the moon are not moving any faster so your age is not getting older. It's our perception of time is going very fast, the day and nights are moving very fast for humanity because of the difficulties and the time that we're in. But the more that we meditate and the more that we connect with the soul that is a timeless reality. So when people are stressed and running, 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 we have to retreat to the cave that Allah is asking us to retreat to. So this Ashab al-Kaf is, is the meditation that every time this dunya is making me go crazy and, and make me run here and run there and do this and do that, then I have to stop and when I pray I have to give a few minutes in my prayer to give my salaam, tahiyyat, connect my heart. Visualize myself at Rosa Sharif in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and then break away from time. That can be timeless. You could sit for what you thought was five minutes and could be hours when you come out of your meditation and you don't know exactly how long you were in that presence. Because in a timeless reality then that, that's something that is very miraculous. And that's why Prophet gave us a hint, said, one hour of tafakkur is like 70 years of worship. Why is that? Because one hour in a timeless reality Prophet is describing that you're achieving like 70 years of worship in that one hour. Why? Because it's timeless. So when you're sitting in that, in that reality and you begin to open your heart and the fires and the lights that are coming to you, the connection that are coming to you, how long are you really in that connection? 
could be 70 years, 50 years, 40 years in that connection. And you came out and it was like 10-15 minutes. So then this is now something that people can't understand. And that's why the, the, the timeless reality is immensely powerful. When you connect into the world of light and the fires and the lights of Prophet begin to dress or the lights of awliyaullah, they dress a servant, how long are they being dressed for? Some servants can witness and go somewhere, how long were they there? Because Prophet gave us an understanding for Israhiwal Miraj, he went all the way to the seven heavens and Siddhartha Muntaha but his bed was still warm. So this time dimension is one understanding and timeless reality is something completely different that we don't have an understanding about and it, 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 it's not something the mind can understand. But the more the servant meditates, the more they're entering into a timeless reality, the more they're entering into tajallis and lights that can't be understood. And if Allah want to take them to travel, to experience, not even understood how long they were there. InshaAllah, leave you a little bit of something to think about. As Salaamu Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, what's the reality of New Age spirituality and a tarot cards reading? Yeah, those are not new, those were old, old, old systems. The New Age is that they're trying to usher in something of a newer understanding and awakening. But they built a system of what they call self-help and we recognize the word self as ego. So we, we don't acknowledge and don't think that, that the ego can help itself and that the ego can help you and uh, all the ego knowing and all of the, the self accomplishing is impossible. So anyone who wants to do surgery upon themselves is, is impossible. You can't cut yourself, you, you can't drown yourself because as soon as it's difficult you stop. So we have to seek out guidance. So that's where the, the self-help is, 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 is greatly flawed. They don't want guidance, they, they just want to teach people they can do everything themselves. And that's, that's a danger because then many different nefarious energies can begin to get involved. That's why Allah wants for us and Surat Al-Kaf is teaching for us, seek those whom have a knowledge that we can become rushed. And that's why all these teachings should have been proving all of that. That all the negative forces, how are you going to combat them? All the positive energies, how are you going to receive them? If you can't pull yourself out of, out of quicksand, how are you going to pull yourself out of the, the difficulty of this dunya? So it's not something that's possible. Anyone who enters into sins and says, okay God just give me an awrad so I can recite and get out of it, you're already in the quicksand. So just asking forgiveness and think you're going to stop it is not going to happen. You're in quicksand, it's just… the more you move actually the faster you go down. So Allah created us so that we would seek out the companionship. It would call wajibul taqlid. In Ahlul Sunnah is wajibul taqlid, it's wajib to follow. As the companions followed Prophet and the companions followed the companions and the companion of the companions followed the companions, this is our, our mandatory system and that was a system that was laid down to save us. Because anyone tried to save themselves or represent themselves then they've already lost. And tarot card is shaitan. Those are summoning and Ouija boards and tarot cards. Anytime you use a system in which to summons things, you can't get rid of these friends you're making. So imagine like you have a, a house filled with like gold coins and you said, I'm going to just open the door to all the homeless people and start you know hanging out and feeding them in your home and with all your possessions. It's not easy to get rid of those people 
they have nowhere to go so they're not leaving and you, you're opening your system to, to a very dangerous group of people. If you want to help the homeless you go to where they are and you help them but you don't bring these difficult things into your home. So it means the tarot card is also the same thing, you're, you're summonsing things that you can't get rid of. And usually these are run by gypsies and, and idol worshippers that, that really want to open up a difficulty and they can entrap people because you broke the auzu. When you break the auzu then you're locked in with the shaitan and, and that, that shaitan's not going to leave and uh, many, many horrific things can happen because the evilness is very real. And if you welcome it, it doesn't leave easily. Mm. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, Two questions, what is the benefit reality behind the ihda and can applying perfumes, cosmetic containing alcohol attract negative energies? Yeah the ihda is a important, it's our most important part of our, our amal. We said before the, the concept of a waterfall in Islam that's why every masjid used to have like a, a, a fountain with water and a stem that would have a waterfall and come back into the fountain. Islamic architecture used to reflect immense realities and that reality is that we're the pond, we're the bottom of this fountain and when we do good deeds it sends it up into the heavens then those whom are already established in the heavens and their nearness to Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad they take and they send blessings upon us. That becomes the, the rain from the fountain that comes back down onto the pond, onto the mass of people. So when we do a good deed that was the same similarity. Is that I just read my, my, my du'as, Ya Rabbi il Sharf al-Nabi wa ahli wa ashabi kiram by the sanctity and the honour of Prophet I'm asking that you give my amal as a gift to Prophet his sahabi, his ahlid bayt and my shaykhs and you can put your family and all your shaykhs. You don't have to be stingy and not mention your shaykh's name. Because he's also in need of your du'as from all of the difficulty that he faces in his life. Your father's in need of it, your mother's in need of it, all the loved ones that you have. People are, are stingy not only with their money, it seems like they're more stingy with their du'as. They don't want to add a name into the du'a, why are they stingy? Why don't they want to, to pray for people? That is the ida is the whole concept of that reality is that, take our actions Ya Rabbi and I'm asking give it as a gift to these holy souls and to these blessed souls. And as a result it goes to them, Allah says, remember me and I remember you in a better association. Means then they take those gifts and say, Ya Rabbi they, they just mentioned our name on these, let us shower them from our blessings and what we have from Your Divine the Presence. And this becomes the immense rahmah that rain upon the community, upon the shaykh, upon his family, upon the community, upon everything that they do. That's what they do all day long is for every action they do they give everything as a gift to these holy souls. And they take it and multiply it by millions more with their blessing and their barakahs and that's what showers them with immense rahmah, immense barakah, immense fayas. So it's the secret of every action An action without that is of no value because then I'm just saying, I did the action and, and I'm going to get the reward but I don't want my reward. I want them to reward me from their station, inshaAllah. And the itar? The itar with the alcohol in it, the alcohol vaporizes. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, you know there's many, many different shaykhs that have given fatwa on that, you're not going to spray the itar in your mouth I hope. So you put it on your body, by the time it goes onto your body it's already vaporized the alcohol and not enough of the alcohol was enough on your skin to go into your bloodstream. So alhamdulillah you're okay, you'll survive <laughs> Allah. Um, as Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, Sayyidi, what is the reality of the color black? Reality of the color black, inshaAllah. That's the akhfa, a station of annihilation and a 
understanding of a black hole. That the black hole is that it takes in every color, it takes in everything that approaches it and it annihilates it. This is a, a reality of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that the one whom annihilates everything. Every color that approaches Prophet means anything that comes towards his reality he make it to be dust and nothing. He doesn't care you're a prophet, you're a saint, you're a farmer, you're a businessman, he's going to crush you either way. And that's the Muhammad and the oceans of power and Mahi al Qulub, Muhi al Qulub, Mahi al Dunub, the one whom crushes all sins in that reality. So, it means anything that comes towards that reality, Prophet will make it to be obliterated, to be nothing. And as a result, they can reach into the oceans of nothingness to approach and Allah resurrect them. And that's why it's a station of war and the reality for many Ahlul Bayt that their clothes are all black. When you visualize them they're in black jubbas, black turbans because they represent the station of annihilation, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi is uh, Dajjal a system or an actual person? Dajjal is a system that he brought for his arrival. So he has to have a government that he put into place and that has been, uh, been working for maybe a thousand years, fifteen hundred years. Prophet was describing that the Dajjal has entered and the companions were believing that it was going to be right around the tree. So that Dajjalic system already entered upon the earth and the false messiah was already established by what Paul did and changed the teaching of a Prophet of Allah Saul or Paul that he changed the entire teachings of Sayyidina Isa salam, and that was now the Dajjal system accomplished upon the earth. He is the false prophet and from that they built the entire St. Paul's cathedral based on the false teachings of Paul. Sayyidina Isa some there's nobody has permission to change the teachings of a prophet and making halal to be haram and haram to be halal. He changed completely the laws of Sayyidina Isa salam. that was then the starting of the antichrist. So that system has already been in place, its hukum and its government has been put into place and he is a physical being of a jinn nature and his armies will be all jinn. And that's why you're now seeing the pandemics upon the earth. Those are his forces entering into the earth atmosphere and humanity not able to stay alive in the proximity of these creatures. Mm. And inshaAllah more than that then they color channel. <laughs> uh, as Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa I saw Noon and Ba in meditation when contemplating about Imam Ali, sacrifice in bed. Can you explain? I saw Noon and Ba, Alhamdulillah, good, good letters. Allah, that's it. <laughs> Finished? Finished. We end on a noon and ba. Good. Keep keep contemplating, inshaAllah, and 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 take the teachings, read the teachings, meditate on the teachings. We don't have to go in, in too many different uh, areas. You can take a teaching, read a little bit of it, and then connect your heart and ask the the knowledge to expand and the understanding to expand. And more important is that you dress from the light and dress from the oceans of that light inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bila sharaf al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi wa sahbihi kiram wa ala mashaykhina fi tariqatan ashbandiyyatul aliyya wa sayyidu sadatina Siddiqina al-Fatiha.